iOS 6 is set to drop very soon here as of this video. And one of the changes is that Apple severed their relationship with Google and no longer includes a YouTube app. So if you update your iPhone or your iPad to iOS 6, this YouTube app will just disappear and be deleted. So you won't be able to use that anymore. Uh, the workaround is to download YouTube's own app, which is fairly new. It's been out for maybe about a week now. And you can do that just by going to the App Store and searching for YouTube, which I've typed in here. And scroll down until you see this one right here. It's by Google Inc. Click on it and click on Install. Now I've already installed it. Once you do so, the icon looks like go back to my home screen the icon looks like that and so it's uh, Google's own YouTube app and you have access to your subscriptions you know your home your home page and all that all your different subscription videos here you also have access to your own videos if you have a YouTube account uh, your uploads and your playlists and stuff like that as well you can also comment on videos unfortunately you still can't reply to comments in line like you can on your computer so this app does have some work uh, that still needs to be done on it, but um, generally it works fairly well. Also, it does not yet uh, work on the iPad. I mean, it does work on the iPad, but it's not optimized for the iPad. So you'll have to run it in iPhone mode on the iPad. Hopefully, YouTube will be updating it soon, so it'll be a universal binary so that it'll work on the iPad as well as the iPhone. But right now, it's uh, just an iPhone app, unfortunately, although it does run on the iPad. So... Just a quick tip for you, you might want to go ahead and download that because, as I mentioned, when you update to iOS 6, this old YouTube app will be going away and will be deleted. Now another hint and tip for you is you don't have to connect your iOS device to iTunes to uh, update to iOS 6. All you have to do is, if you have Wi-Fi, is go to your settings and then go to general and then software update and when it's available you'll be able to update it right here on the device without having to plug into uh, iTunes. Hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next video.